Hello and welcome to Gameplay by our Dubbage. Today we got a fun one for you. Uh, this is Lego Worlds. I literally didn't hear anything about this until it randomly got posted on Steam for early access. Um, so just to get the legal stuff out of the way here. Lego Worlds is an open world box of sandbox game developed by TT Games Traveler's Tales Division and it's published by Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment. Uh, currently it is an early access on Steam. It's only single player right now and it does have full controller support. Uh, there's a few other features that it currently has. Um, they have a list of stuff that they plan to do and one thing that they plan to add is online multiplayer. So essentially, um, I'm thinking, I haven't got into this at all yet, but I'm thinking it's a Lego version of Minecraft, <coughs> which I didn't really get into Minecraft, but I love Lego games, so this should be really fun. Um, I can't wait to dive into this one here. Uh, I do know that you can sculpt a train, you can ride animals, uh, there's building tools. I don't know if you can completely customize your own buildings or if there's pre-built ones, but we'll find out here soon. Um, so to start off here, they give you three characters. Uh, I don't think you can edit any of them. At least not right now. There's no options for that. So we want this dude or this dude? Huh. I can't remember about this one. Alright, and then find world. Load world. Settings and options, which I already turned up the graphics a little bit there. Um, and then we got this randomly generated one here, so let's generate a few, see if we find one we like, or that I like, I guess. Now, it doesn't look like a very big area. I don't know if, uh, maybe that's just because it's early access, or if this looks a lot smaller than what it really is, um, or maybe if, like, the boundaries can expand. But from this here, wow, this go with this. And this here it looks very small. Um, we'll find out. Let's name this world RW. Alright, so we free fall into it, I guess. Uh, WSAD, or we can do left click or hold. Right click and hold for the camera. Space is jump or right click. Uh, action is F, uh, or just tap left click. Uh, ability to interact is E, and recenter camera. Okay, so there is a dragon. I don't know if that's my friend or if I'm about to get wrecked, but we'll find out here. Uh, let's go ahead and close. Oh, shit, yes. Oh, uh, let's see. Double tap space to fly. I'm gonna have to just keep that open, I think. Oh, this is already sweet. Um, so, I can already see the boundaries, which means that it is pretty small. Um, I mean, it's bigger than what it looked like originally, but it still looks pretty small. And it looks like we're adding more on here. Maybe not. The dragon did not want to fly over there. It doesn't look like there's any kind of sprint or fly faster. So graphically, this is a pretty decent looking game. Um, I mean, for a LEGO game. You consider most LEGO games, and they're good looking, but it's obvious that they have the LEGO quality, not really like full high definition or you know 4k ultimate or whatever but for a lego game this looks pretty decent um, let's go ahead and get on the ground Oops, no. 
thought the dragon did the horse sound, but that was definitely the horse. <gasps> oh no! And apparently you can die. <laughs> Still no sprint on the horse either. I guess if you walk past stuff, you unlock it for the builder. And there's money. Okay. Oops. Back on the horse. Okay, so attack is bad. I don't see any kind of attack. Looks like we just entered a new area here, so a little special, uh, special effect. And the horse can climb trees. Okay, so it says hit F to attack, but oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, it's riding controls. Maybe I don't have a weapon or something. Treasure chest. Let's get it. Yeah. Got that one-two punch going. Alright, what do we got here? We got tools, brick building, models, we got some characters here. Can I actually customize it? Custom Pip Explorer and Paleontologist. But I have no way of customizing. And maybe that'll be a later feature. Looks like I can buy the dragon mount for 10,000. Don't have any vehicles yet. Terraforming in here. Let's smooth this out. That was way too slow. what I want to do is I want to make this all flat, but I think what it's doing is it's actually raising this up to this. So, looks like this is what I'm going to want. I guess we can do that. Terraforming. Get off my yard. Alright, now I see something about brick building. There it is. Wow, okay, so you really can straight up make your own buildings just by actual brick building. And uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend that I'm awesome at building with Legos. I played with Legos for countless hours going up, but I uh, never really developed much skill for building the buildings too much, so let's just try this out here. I want a brown house. We'll say building a wooden house out here. Uh, wait a second. Uh, 
I just want the normal rectangle brick. Okay, I'm not going to go through a full uh, house building thing here, but it does look like you can build your own houses. Uh, looks like it'll take a little bit of time, but... Okay, and it doesn't look like you can accidentally destroy it either. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Anything else up here? Here we go. Uh, okay, I only have two faces. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to unlock some stuff to really get into that. Oh, I just punched the horse. My bad horse. Are you friendly? Sweet. I'm not just stuck. What? What? You got a problem? You got a problem? You got a problem? That's what I thought. I need a horse. Or... <laughs> yeah, whoop his ass! Give me your face. <laughs> Where did the dragon go? Ride the Griffin. Or is that an evil? Eh, it's an evil. <laughs> um, I was gonna go check something out and I completely forgot what it was. We do know that. Red means dead, as far as the lava there, so I'm not going to go dive bombing the eagle into the lava. There's the dragon. I wonder if the dragon attacks. Sorry, Eagle. So there's an ant. 
aim, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, shit. Excuse my language, by the way. Sorry, kids. I actually really want to explore the underground area here. <gasps> Dang, his fireballs did that? So it doesn't look like you can brick build vehicles. was a little, a little bad for that, but maybe a little polishing up of the camera or when I learn better how to use the camera. Now let's see if I can get out of this. Sweet. I want to check out the water, see if you can swim. Up there, kind of cool. All right, it does not look like you can swim. I mean, like, dive, I mean, which would have been really cool for you know, like, <clears throat> say, you build like an underwater cave or something and. Yeah. Maybe that's something they're planning to put in or they will put in. Or maybe I don't know how to dive. So right in the middle of the water. Oh, I guess I can't. <laughs> that is sweet. So at least with the uh, pre-built stuff, it doesn't just pop something down randomly. It actually gives you a neat little animation that you can watch. It'll clear the space out and you can see it being built. That's kind of cool. I like that. I almost just skydove into lava. I want to be a warlock. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> now the question is, do I get cool attacks? Whitey tighties really stick out. the front door. There it is. Get out of my house! Okay, so it did not remove the tree. So I made that a little awkward, but all right. One thing I do want to check out before I work on wrapping this up is if you can place. Um, place character oh you can place characters now the question is can you make them hostile or not like cuz I'm thinking it'd be really sweet to uh, make like dungeons and stuff for you know on my multiplayer to be able to populate those dungeons so that these guys are enemies I don't see... I don't see anything as far as the ability to uh, set like AI instructions or personalities or anything so Hopefully, that's something that... What? I got a fireball! <laughs> um, I wonder if it did that because I clicked on the warlock instead of just edited all my clothes for that. <laughs> uh, I make my own doors. Apparently, you can be Spider Man. <laughs> oh my, that was amazing. I did not mean to do that, but that made my day. <laughs> I really only wanted to go up and get the uh, get the stuff for his face. <laughs> I accidentally just pushed him into the lava. That was sweet. So, um, yeah, final thoughts about this game. I am giving it a huge thumbs up because this is sweet. I can definitely see myself putting a lot of time into this game, especially once they come out with the online multiplayer. Uh, that's going to be huge for me because um, it'll just be fun to build stuff with my friends and especially if you can make dungeons um, to be able to make stuff so that you and your friends can go through an adventure. Um, I would really like to see the game get a little bigger. Like the, I mean, I'm sitting here talk about, talking about how like 
That's what I was looking for earlier. Um, that is not... And that's just dropped a purple. Come on now. I'm not getting that back either. Um, I'm sitting here talking like it's easy to make it bigger or something like that, but I mean, if at all possible, I'd really like to see a, uh, see a bigger world. Okay, so it says hold left shift to dig up, left control to dig down. Space is dig terrain, but I'm not getting anything here. There we go. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> okay, so, uh, anyway, this was Lego Worlds by TT Games Traveler's Tales Division, and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. Um, I love it. Uh, more, more, please. Uh, this, this has put a smile on my face, so, um... I think my death will be a very good place to wrap it up here because I don't even know where I'm at. I'm free falling into nowhere. There we go. Thank you for watching. Uh, please you know, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, on the off chance a developer uh, catches this video, then awesome. I can't wait for more. Um, I, uh, all the bad stuff I have to say are just really small things like camera underground and maybe a little bit of a bigger environment um, and the ability to edit AI so that you can make these guys enemies. Uh, other than that, I love it. So thanks again for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.